local film festival full of international award winners, special guests, and Arizona premieres. It's called the Tucson International Jewish Film Festival, and it has something for everybody. And Monique Steinberg, the film uh, festival committee member, excuse me, and Katie Spector, film festival director, are here with more on what we can look forward to. It's nice to have you here. Thank you. Thank you for having us. It's Indeed. huge, and it keeps getting, getting bigger and bigger every single year. So what are the types of films that people can expect to see there? Well, we have a gamut of films. We have biography. We have wonderful narratives. Mm -hmm. We have documentaries. Thrillers. Right. My favorite. Right. LGBTQ mm -hmm. films. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yes, that's Holocaust. something we always try to yes. have. Yes. And a lot of different venues. Where are some of them playing? So we have our opening night at the Loft tomorrow okay. at 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. And then the rest of our films are at our Tucson JCC on River Road in Dodge. Mm -hmm. And then we had two screenings this past weekend in Saddlebrook and then Green Valley. And it's really amazing how it really spans the whole world, right? You're going to get people oh. coming in from all over the world, but also the films themselves really sort of focus on being culturally diverse, right? Oh, yes, so much so. And we have we have one film that's going to be in Spanish, Leona, mm -hmm. and we have some Israeli films. And one thing I did want to mention about opening night is you have to have a special ticket. It can't be just our regular ticket. Mm -hmm. And the reason we're doing that is so we don't oversell, which we did last year and was really Which is terrible. a good sign if you're overselling. <laughs> indeed, it's indeed, indeed but yeah. it's <laughs> terrible to turn people away. Uh, yeah. Right, no, I know. So how many people are expecting this year, you think? Well, we, what our max is three? 370, 370. at the loft, uh -huh. but we get about 3,000 people throughout our whole festival. Oh my oh, goodness. Yeah. Indeed, yes. Well, you know, and I love the way that you, you know, reach this broad audience, you know, this large um, brushstroke, and that when we're learning about different cultures, uh, cultures, like Alex mentioned, it's important not just to read about it, but really to feel the emotion mm -hmm. of it, right? Just feel like we're personally impacted by this. Do you agree? Oh, definitely, definitely. And you know, our Israeli films, we've been showing Israeli films all along, and the depth of those films and the professionalism has really, mm -hmm. really become wonderful. And one of the ones we're doing, A uh, Working Woman, is about a woman who has to go back to work. And what she goes through, it's, it's kind of a we too movement, a me too mo mm -hmm. uh, moment. Mm -hmm. And it's done so beautifully, so professionally, and it just really gets to you. Right, it's gripping. Gripping, mm -hmm. absolutely. I know it might be hard to choose, but is that the film you're most looking forward to, or is there another one? Oh, oh. boy. <laughs> <laughs> we were just talking about that. That's the worst thing you can ask us. Oh, it's like picking your favorite child. Right, yes. right, right. But, you know, documentaries, people think of documentaries as kind of boring. We never show documentaries for opening night, but this year we are. Mm -hmm. It's called Carl Lemle, and he's the man who started Universal Studios. Really? And it's wonderful. It's full of humor. It's full of facts you never even thought of. About the history of Nickelodeon theaters right. and how they show you, you know, Universal Studios before it was even Universal Studios when it was just an open lot. And so it really is the history of Hollywood Indeed. and the history of film with also just a Jewish touch in there because mm -hmm. not many people know that Hollywood is Jewish. Right. Mm -hmm. So. And you don't have to be Jewish to go. No. To oh, this. absolutely Everybody's not. invited to come. Do you have a favorite film you're thinking of? I definitely have a favorite film. It's called Fiddler Miracle of Miracles. Oh. And it's the history behind the film Fiddler and it's the show Fiddler. It is definitely my top one film. So hard to choose, but how did you guys select which ones you wanted to feature? That is a committee thing. Mm -hmm. And we may have our favorites and some of our favorites may not even have gotten in. But it's truly a committee thing. We watch the films, we vote on them, and, and that's how it's done. And the lovely committee does start the week after our film festival yes. ends. I we would immediately imagine so. start yes. screening yeah. films and seeing which ones we want. And sometimes it takes us to the deadline and we find a great, you know, we found a film, uh, Catcher Was a Spy with Paul Rudd, which is one of our closing like films. Mm -hmm. And we found that I think two weeks before our deadline of right. choosing our films. Wow, great yeah. lineup. And of course, it is an organization. You need the public support. It's this huge oh. festival that gives back so much. So if people, aside from going to watch the movies, obviously, how else can they support this mission? Well, so, well go ahead. Yeah, <laughs> so they can also support us by being a film sponsor. So we're always looking for sponsors, mm -hmm. either organizations or different businesses or even people. You can sponsor a film or sponsor concession stands. We're always hoping for donations to help this continue. This is our 29th year and we want to go 29 more and even more so than Indeed. that. We want to be able to support it too. And uh, actually, the ticket sales bring in 25% 
of what we need to run that festival. So we really need donations. So yeah. go get some Those culture sponsors. and watch Indeed. these movies. Mm -hmm. Thanks for being here. Thank you nice for having us. Thank, Thank you. you. This year's Tucson International Jewish Film Festival is starting tomorrow and it runs through January 20th at multiple venues. For more information on the films and those locations, you can visit TIJFF.org or you can call them at 520-299-3000.